So talk to me about the Patreon. Okay, so you guys were all ripping me about that, and I watched. I was laughing because I'm a clean. Yeah, we, 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 we were. I don't want to say. I don't want to say we were ripping. It was more so about just. It was interesting. It was yeah. interesting, but it was more so like, what the what's going on here? And so was your response. That was interesting to me. So what I'll say is this. Um, I like what you guys, the points you brought up. It's like, listen, if he's serious about getting to that goal, raise it. But I can't raise it until I have something different to give. Because I don't look at it as a donation system. You're not just just helping me. I mean, there is a, a, a $1 thank you tier, which I'm eternally grateful for anyone who just, for the for the sake of just wanting to support, they just give a dollar. But I look at the Patreon as that other tier, the $3 tier. And that's a transaction. It's not a donation. You're getting something from me every every month. So until I can give you something that's not that, I can't ask for more, I think. And I'm, I am working on another tier though. It's kind of like an educational tier. It's considered like a library. So there's a lot of artists and animators and sort of stuff out there where it's hard for them to curate lists, you know, like getting good reference for film shots and anatomy and good anime and like all sorts of stuff. And I've been doing that for myself for God knows how long. So. I'm kind of formulating a discord. It's kind of like a non-talking discord where you're just going to be invited to it if you're in that tier, uh, third tier, whatever it will be. And it's for people who are just serious about mastery, about getting better at what they do. And if you can't look, if you don't have time to look for it, you don't know what to look for, I've done that work for you. And yeah, sure, there'll be other perks to it, like maybe like behind the scenes stuff. And you're talking about my grade five Dragon Ball Z movie, Ryan, so maybe that'll be in there. But um, that would be the de next level of what I can give to people. So that's it. That's it really. Now, it's it's extremely honorable to think of the Patreon that way, but what exactly is stopping you from setting up a pure donation system to help you achieve that goal or literally just anything else in general? Because at the end of the day, a donation is a donation. It's coming purely from the heart and no one's expecting anything from it. And it can help you, you know, reach that 15K mark or do anything else that you might need to. Yeah, that's, that's a good point. Um, you did say something there that no one's expecting anything of it. I do think though that's a little unrealistic considering how many people liked the film. I think they are expecting 100% that under any well circumstances or even bad circumstances that if we if you fund you properly or if you hit your goal, you're gonna make the second one right away. Mm. And there, there are other things in my way that would prevent me from making a second one. So the worst situation I could think about being in is some sort of like really generous big spender says here, Here's 10k, here's 15k, go do your thing. Oh wait, you're not making a second one? Oh, I feel ripped off now. Why did I even help you out? Like, you don't want to be in someone's pocket for that reason. If, if I'm gonna ever try to raise a budget for something, it's because you're gonna get something out of it. So I would never try to, I would never preemptively try to raise for something that have no guarantee that I can deliver yet. And that's why I think Legend worked out so well, because there's no money obviously involved, but also nobody knew about it. It was all dependent yeah. on me finishing it. And I 100% knew I would finish it. So there was no stipulation of whether it would get done or not. If I had for some reason like done like a Kickstarter in 2018 saying, hey, here's a trailer, would you want to fund it? I would have had no issue doing it because I knew I was going to finish. But it's just not how I do things. Like I would rather if it was a Kickstarter, it'd be something like a, um, it would be something I was 80% done already. And when I released it, it's like, it's going to be done no matter what, whether people help me or not. But if people help me, then think about it like back pay, you know, like you can actually now cover the bases. But again, Legend's a very unique situation because all the people involved in it, they did it because they trusted me. They just wanted to help me out. My Stray Dog guys, like, Stray Dog is a collective of nine animators and artists where we just we just work together. And when we get client work, whoever brings the client in, we hire each other out for the work. But Legend's not client work. It's, that was a project I brought to the group. So if I'm doing like 90% of the lifting, everyone's like, yeah, let me help you out. But there's a limit from how much you can ask from your own team. And I guarantee you they would have did way more for me if I asked them, but I can't ask that of, of everyone. Like, I, I kind of had the mentality, like, if I can't get it done myself, uh, I, I don't want to do it. It may take way longer to do. And the reason it took four years is because I was working full time the whole time. I had just gotten married. I got, like, you know, life, that sort of stuff. But, um, you know, scrounging for midnight minutes, an hour here, 20 minutes there, like, it all adds up. So it's definitely, it's definitely the way I like to do things, like um, setting a plan, sticking with it, adjusting it if things go, you know, outside of the plan but I when it when there's money involved like I definitely don't like having other people have any like any sort of like small expectation attached to it even if they're doing it very generously like 
they may be like, oh, I, I gave you a thousand dollars, but oh, you're not doing it? Ah, that's a bit unfortunate, but okay, go do your thing. Like, um, that's like a, a feeling I just don't want to inspire in people. Like, it feels like a letdown. And like, yeah, that, that there's nothing more special than that. All right, let me let me ask this then. So if you if you had like uh, let me see like an incentive in your own mind to to make a, a second one, for example, like would you add that to a to the Patreon? Like if you had like kind of like a set date in the future, for, like if you wanted it to come out, type of thing. Okay, so it feels like we are asking me now if there's gonna be a second one. So. May I elaborate on that? <laughs> yeah, go for it. All right, go Yo, ahead. Yo, right, we can't, we can't do this, right? I got it. <laughs> right, right, right. Listen, I can't. I can't. Listen, I can't there's a lot this, of things man. to ask this man, but okay. I still got questions too. Yeah, like yeah. we're not done yet. <laughs> okay, so the answer is not yes, but it's definitely not no. So, oh, that's what I like to hear. That's okay. what I like that's to all hear. I need to hear. I'll tell you this. So, uh, a year ago, I had written roughly a, s a sequel to this um and i roughly planned it out how it would work the movements and that sort of stuff i didn't storyboard it there's no art related to it except for maybe one sketch but i won't talk about that but oh um, please don't tell him don't tell him what you told me last week <laughs> yeah because is, like, Nasir, if you but with all no. things good if you no. say, if you spill the beans now people oh. will be <laughs> at your door do yeah, not no. tell them please but go um, ahead please so i did plan out a sequel to this which, to be honest, like it would be a 22-minute OVA, feature quality sort of thing. Um, and if I if I plan it out well, it would actually be in two parts, which I essentially would make a Legend of Trilogy. But um, but uh, the only there's only two circumstances I would actually seriously go for it. So the first is if I had a budget to be able to pay people to do it this time. Uh, you can't make 22 minutes when you're married. You know, the first one's free. <laughs> <laughs> so, Right, right. Yeah, but for that to happen, the second circumstance would have to be true. Is if if Toei Animation had done something like um, Marvel What If or Star Wars Visions, where they give people creative license to do whatever they want, and they said, "Hey, if you can raise your own budget, go do it," I guarantee you there would be a legend uh, Kickstarter. And honestly, for the amount of people who liked it, I think it would be funded, and I would be able to make it under that circumstance. You but, think? He was so, and that's why I said like it's definitely not yes, but absolutely not no because I think even just for my own uh, sake, I'm gonna finish writing it the way I want, and I might even storyboard it out, which is a lot to storyboard, but you know. Eh. <laughs> but, yeah, because uh, so, yeah. I, the only reason I'm asking is because I mean you said you you finished it, but I just had I just had <laughs> <laughs> I just had to ask. so you know. Yeah, I think you guys get like if there was never a second one, and we never know. But uh, I think Legend was just like um, it was for me. It was like a personal. It was like a masterclass in animation for myself. I got to explore all the types of animation I wanted to do, and at the same time, like I wanted to like just show Canadian animation isn't lame, you know. So uh, that I guess socially, that's what I wanted to do with it. But now it's like, like I was saying, it's going to become a great assist one day. So now it's just a, a bit of media that people could have enjoyed and have like good feelings attached to it. So if there was never another one. It wouldn't, it wouldn't taint how nice the first one was, I suppose. So, mm. you're basically confirming that the second one would blow the first one out of the water. It would decimate it, man. The way I wrote it, <laughs> it would be like remember, like a lot of the lore in here. Like I think the reason people really like this is because there's a lot of callbacks to the original content. But from here, it's unknown territory, right? And that means I really get to unleash my ability to write a good story. Because mine's loosely related to the original. But right. after that, it won't be related at all. And uh, I, th I think it's a good story. <laughs> so oh. would you only, would you limit it to only like a three part story? Or like, how far would you go? Yeah, I would go three because, you know, as an artist, there's a lot of things I want to do. So it would take quite some time to get that done. And, you know, when you start a project, the first thing you think is, like, what's the next one I can do? Oh, but I haven't finished the first one. So, yeah, yeah like, uh, yeah, the, art, the artist in me would be itching to do something else. But uh, the 2018 me was itching to do this, and that man is satiated now. So, <laughs> oh, wow. There you got it. There you, heard, you heard it, guys. It's, 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 it's in existence. It's in, yes. it's in the air. <laughs> it's in existence, all right? And that's, I mean, everything about this whole jam session is exclusive this is you hearing this stuff here first but 
Oh my god. Just hearing that is like, is music to my ears. And I will add this. And I'm not saying, I'm not, you know, this is, I'm, I would never press you to do anything, right? Because I, I have to respect how, because like how you said, like, you know, you wouldn't want to be in anyone's pockets like that. You know what I'm saying? And, mm. you know, that, that does make a lot of sense because in, in a way that would almost kind of like ruin what made the first one so special, right? Like you're, you're going to work on your terms, you know what I'm saying? So, but I just, I do want to share, right? I had a, a little daydream, okay? And in my daydream... I literally uh, was, I don't even know where the hell I was, where I was at. It doesn't, doesn't matter where the hell I'm at, okay? But I'm over here just, like, doing my thing. Next thing you know, you release a video. And it's very discreet. Like, the title is just like, what, what is this, right? And then you do the whole, you come back in the chair, right? And he goes, hey, guys. My name is Sir Pasha, and uh, I'm the creator of Legend of Dragon Ball Tale, right? And you talk about how like, how great it was and this and that and you're thanking the fans and next thing you know you just drop the two <laughs> right stranger <laughs> things too <laughs> <laughs> you drop a two and that w and, and you do it around christmas right and i thought about it and i'm like that would literally be like the greatest gr christmas gift i could ever want to be honest <laughs> Like just just a just an announcement, not not the whole thing finished, right? But like the announcement of you officially coming out and being like, okay, guys, it's happening. Just like this whole just like this whole thing, it's happening, <laughs> you, right? You hyped the hell out of our talk, man. I'm like I couldn't I couldn't conceive that. You like the trailer? <laughs> yeah, hell yeah, it was so sick. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, I uh I was excited. What what can I say? Like, you know, passion passion for the passion, you know. The passion. <laughs> and, uh, 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 what should I call it? Like a second introduction would be crazy. That, that shit would probably mm -hmm. fucking go crazy. A like second introduction to what? Do you mean? Not to like the part two. Like oh, <laughs> when that, when, whenever it decides to happen, you know. Yeah. Because it's in the <laughs> air. But, yeah. That would be crazy, but uh, yeah, I mean, this was kind of like a dream project for myself, and nothing could have stopped it. But that just definitely blockades. You know, definitely a dream project though, because man, I, the screenplay would be good. <laughs> but, uh, so, man. so phase one would definitely have to like that. That fourth goal would have to be met though, like because even though you said yeah. you would wanna, like you're gonna work on it, like you know you said you might go storyboard a little, you know, a little bit or whatever. Mm -hmm. Um, and but you know, aside from that, like, like hitting that fourth goal would definitely be like a shit moment for you right <laughs> yeah so like uh the way i worded it on my patreon i hope it's clear but like uh stray dog like we just like developing cool stuff like whether it's fan content or original content like that's my way of saying that my portion of stray dog i can start hiring out my team to make cool stuff so whether right. it's like a different idea that i was working on or it's one of theirs i want to develop and help them like get everyone paid and so they're working on it for a, like a short burst um that's what that is if i ever did like a second thing like legend i would probably do a kickstart for it because it would it would cost so much money that um i would probably have to have that fifteen thousand goal for 10 years to be able to uh do you know what i mean like to give you a just give you like a bit of context like an episode of legend of Korra in 2012 probably cost something around four hundred thousand per episode without the music budget and that's a 22 minute tv show but like i'm going for feature so wow you, uh, and that was in 2012 so yeah um, that's crazy that, that number that might, might not be accurate but like it's probably pretty close wow man that, that's some perspective for you huh mm -mm -mm. <laughs> yeah <laughs> wow that is really crazy jeez that's... Yeah, good work is expensive man and they their work was as good as it came you know yeah so I mean since we're still on this topic of like the patreon right and you did mention that you know a third tier is in the works do you have any kind of like anticipated release date for that uh no i'm just uh, curating the discord right now and it, it's actually pretty close to uh completion but uh yeah i just have a few things they're actually legend related that um uh it's, i'm doing like basically like a small documentary to wrap all the project together uh and it's gonna be really short but um Actually, it being shorter by might be longer than the film. But, uh, uh, yeah. 
once I finish that up, like I'm gonna consider this project like finally say like it's complete. And then I can like focus a little bit more on that third tier. Until then, like just being able to continue doing what I do with it, like doing sketches and like if I do like work in progress animations and stuff like that, I can definitely maintain that sort of stuff. Like the way I kinda look at the Patreon is like think about it like um it's like a very like non pressure thing. Like it's not like I'm making content for people. I'm making what I'm already gonna make for myself. What it is is like they're they're putting their money into forcing me to make time for myself. Because I always say like, I want to sketch, I want to do this, I want to do that. I'm always like swallowed in client work and pushing it away. I'm like, oh, I'll sketch later, I'll do this. But I never make time for myself. Legend was a different case because it was so like habitual. Like I, you have 30 minutes free, you're working on Legend. An hour tonight, you're working on Legend. Like I wouldn't make time for anything else in terms of like a free time hobby sort of thing. So sketching, studying, all this sort of stuff, I love that, but I just won't make time for it. So them being able to fund me saying, hey, no, we're giving you money. You, now you have to make time for yourself. Like that's how I look at it. So it's definitely no pressure. It's definitely like, it's humbling. And like, now like I have an excuse to say, nope, you got to spend three hours this week just drawing for yourself. And that's what get, people get to see. So I, when I get to that mentality for a third tier where I can start curating and giving people stuff, that'll definitely kickstart that. I'm ready to upgrade my tier, bro. I'm just letting you know. You say the word and send that notification. My shit's getting upgraded on site. <laughs> okay. Like, cause I mean, cause this a thing. And when you when you word it like that, and you can and you're and you're like, you know, bringing that reality into all of this, right? Perspective wise, for people to like absorb. And that's really good, right? That you're that you yourself are another real one, right? Like you you keep it a thousand, not even just a hundred, right? And I think that you are in your own right, like the ultimate content creator, right? Because for me, someone like me, right? Same concept. If I have all these supporters, right, that are just you know, sub subbing to my tiers or at whatever amount at a certain dollar, you know, that will enable me to literally focus way more time on that to the point where I wouldn't need a full time. They wouldn't need a full time. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's how the whole like, you know, content creator, I guess, like vibe really works. Right. Because like because I'm on the grind of full time. Right. This is this, all of this stuff, everything that's involved with, you know, this podcast and all the stuff that I do on my own and my stream and everything that is clear as day for all these years that I've been grinding. This is what I want to do. And I'm going to keep, you know, doing it how I know how to do it. And hopefully one day we get to that point. Right. And, but it goes back to what you said. Like, this is, th th that would be, you know, like in all these, I'm looking at 848 patrons of yours right now that's, that's insane i can't even comprehend that dude that's <laughs> almost a thousand people that are trying to say do your thing bro <laughs> that's wild man <laughs> yeah like that's that's really cool like that is that's like direct support so in a sense i know i speak for a lot of people when i say that like the second you drop that that next tier like don't be surprised if a lot of people upgrade their threes to whatever the amount is. So, I, you know, there are some people who I don't even know how this is possible because I don't think I understand Patreon completely. But they're already <laughs> turning their threes into tens. I don't understand how like it says like the person has adjusted their three dollar membership to a ten dollar one. Like, I, how is that even possible? <laughs> like, <laughs> what? You could do that? Yeah. I guess people so. People out here hacking to get money. <laughs> like, <laughs> That's how bad he got to raise these tears. You're making people cry tears. You got to raise them. <laughs> cry tears. <laughs> Dude, that's actually hilarious because I never thought you could even do that. But Nasir, man. But you're about to. That's, I mean, if you got people out here hacking the system just to give you money, like, come on, bro. Like, that's... <laughs> That's OD. Oh, that's that good shit. <laughs>